Reporting from Kharkiv today in eastern Ukraine, here's our correspondent there, Gulliver Krag. Well, Volodymyr Zelensky, the Ukrainian president, was practically demanding an international reaction in a video he released saying this is the true face of Russia, calling on world leaders to speak out. Those reactions have started to come in with the, the United Nations condemning the video, the European Union saying that war criminals must be held to account. Meanwhile, in Ukraine, Dmitry Kuleba, the foreign minister, said that this video showed that the Russians were worse than ISIS and reiterated his call for Russia to be removed from its position on the UN Security Council, particularly at the moment when Russia is chairing the UN Security Council, something that the Ukrainian authorities have been decrying as absurd for weeks now. In Russia, the reaction was quite interesting in a way because Russians, their spokespeople, usually come out decrying these kinds of things where Russian forces are accused of war crimes as fake right away. Instead, this time, Dmitry Peskov, Putin Putin's spokesman said, this is awful. We must investigate the authenticity of this video. We live in a world of fakes. So suggesting that it might be faked, but not coming right out and saying that it's fake, perhaps that's because on Russian social media where this video, which um, I think it's worth stressing, is not new. It looks like it was filmed in summer, judging by the foliage, was published on some private Telegram channels at first and then leaked to public ones. And on some of those Russian social media, you've also got Russians saying that this is awful, you know, and say, it's condemning uh, this video. Meanwhile, as you might imagine, Ukrainian social media is absolutely up in arms with people voicing their disgust and also noting, perhaps uh, in support of the idea that this video is probably authentic, that there have already been reports of decapitations carried out by Russian and Russian-backed forces in Ukraine, even going right back to 2014. That was Gulliver Craig for us in eastern Ukraine in Kharkiv.